Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. This is the Wix Online meeting number 84, October 6th, rolling right through. Halloween's right around the corner. If that's a big thing to you, it is around here with kids. I think that's the next big thing coming down the line. As always, we're recording these meetings for those people that are unable to make it here, right here with us right now. Let's go look at the agenda. We actually have a few things on the agenda besides just, hey, let's walk through bugs. Uh, but we will start with bugs and triage. Um, then we'll talk about Wix v3.10.1 status. Um, and why the build isn't out yet. Uh, then we'll, Bob wants to talk about icebreakers a little bit, or at least you know, give an idea or update on what he's thinking. And then the usual questions, comments for people that didn't send in stuff for the agenda beforehand, like Bob did. Thank you, Bob, for growing our status, our agenda. All right, moving on. Bugs, yes, bugs. Yes, bugs. Woohoo! Five. Although some of these are still left over. Um, and this one is still assigned to Bob. Yes, it is. Um, I have reviewed the bugs, or the logs, rather. Ah. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any conclusions. Um, it's not really clear what's going on, and I have to take another look to see if I can deduce what extra information I need. Basically, right now, there's no, there's no indication that uh, a second invocation of the bundle is happening. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, I have to take a look and see if I can figure that out somehow. All right. We're, this is still a low thing because, I mean, we're still not clear that we would fix it even if we could. Like, well, if we do find certainly, out something. yeah, certainly we, we can't fix it via the run key. Right. If um, if it is what we think it is, we don't have a good fix for it on uh, operating systems that have UAC. Yeah, I think that's that's a fair statement. All right. Well, one more week, it could stay. 451 compiler, we asked for more data. And, and it's been one week? No, three. 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 Uh, let's resolve it and have them give us more data if they have it. Okay. File in use, checking picks up files that are correctly handled by the uninstall. Ah, so we are... So files in use are being sent by MSI that would otherwise be handled correctly? I know some of that is just what MSI does. Yeah. I thought it was smart enough to do services. And not do the ones that are going to be stopped in the service install table? Although, actually, that's interesting. Um, these are all coming during. Well, no, they're all the message. All the files and use messages would be coming from. When the well, not necessarily all of them. Sorry, uh, I keep interrupting myself in my head. Uh, it's very busy in there. Um, if if something MSI is going to MSI should be excluding from files and use things that it knows are going to get closed correctly, like services. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's on a premise type basis. I'm wondering if there's there's some interaction there, you know, a service is using another service kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, but so were they saying that the right thing happens? Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if this happens in their MSI normally, right? So, yeah, that's worth a question. All right. Well, I, th um, I don't think we're we're not doing anything here, right? We're just processing the messages that MSI sends. Right. So this is a matter of of filtering. So there's a feature here to allow filtering of file and use messages that come a Wix standard B B A feature to filter messages from files in use, because I don't know if there's any way to control it at the MSI level. Um, you, know, you can, of course, add a whole bunch more stuff, but I don't know that you can actually remove anything from them. You could turn it off completely, though. That's what they could do. Turn off what completely? You could turn off Restart Manager. Oh, no, but not files in use. You could get the old files in use. You can't turn off the new files in use. Yeah, all right. Cool. So I guess there's a feature here to um, uh, filter out things that show up in files in use. Or 
right? I guess I, I'm I'm still kind of stuck on you know MSI is sending the message, so right. But we uh, could get it and say you know if you have a a file well, name that's X and or whatever, we could go okay. We won't show that in the list. Yeah, I'm I'm suggesting that maybe there's you know something else going on. Yes, we can we can certainly suppress the file, but that gets into a you know oh I'll just suppress every one every file in my setup and oh can we get harvesting to create yeah. that list well um i don't know what we do with this then so you can suppress files in use with the latest fixes in 3101 right well, you can not show the files in use dialog, yes. Right. Sorry. Which would get them what they want. I well, at least think. I, I don't I don't think that's yeah, you know, Jacob, that's a good point. If they had a custom BA they could filter out whatever they wanted. I just saw that. Well, because a custom BA isn't gonna get any files in use support. Well, it's gonna get the callback and then they have to show the UI. Well. And with the fix in three ten one you can now suppress this dialog um, as was originally intended, right? One so. we wish to take full advantage. They want they want files in use. I mean, that's the first paragraph. Sorry, I get where where I'm coming from is yes, we could suppress it. Yes, they can turn it off. But is is MSI sending the files in error, or is there an authoring? error or omission that is causing these to come through. Yeah, that's fair, but those are all MSI things. So, um, all right, so I we could add that bit. So I think the answer here is you can suppress files in use, or Wix standard BA has this, and if you want to control it more, uh, you can write your own custom BA. And if they want to go, they could go bring it up on Wix users if they want to send a log file and say, hey, why is... MSI think I need to replace these files in use when you know I have a service install. Is that okay? Yes? All right. I I I don't want to I don't want this bug to sit around with all those different options of you know whatever. No, I'm, I'm I'm fine opening the the feature to whitelist. Yes. The thing is that I don't I think we should put that in four, not in three. So that's not going to help it much here in the short sure. term. But we could I think you know. We could put a, a whitelist or, yeah, that's a good point. We could make it a whitelist or a blacklist either way. Um, include or exclude list kind of thing. Yeah. And put it in four. Here's a list of files that we know could be stopped. If you get this message, show them. Otherwise, don't. Yeah. Could do that. So, all right. But I don't know what else we do with this particular bug as it is without opening a new feature. Agreed. Sorry, I'm suggesting we open the feature and mention, you know, things like trying your MSI is naked. Right. I think that's fine. I think okay. taking open the feature in four is a fine idea. All that. So, isn't the MSI still going to choke and require a reboot? No, maybe not. Not if the service install works. I mean, not the question is, have is, is this a genuine files in use thing, or is this MSI bug that is sending a files in use message for a file that won't actually be in use by the time right. the install or, happens? Or what if you're using a you know a close apps kind of thing that you know you're going to you know be able to close your little um, tray icon thingy, and you're not using Restart Manager? So, you know, whatever. It's just like the don't show the user this list. We know we're going to do the work to make sure it goes away whether Restart Manager does it or not. Right? I mean, you could do that. You could author a whole bunch of closed apps to make sure that things that you know are always running get killed before you replace them. No point showing them in files in use because, yes, it's in files in use. Yes, we'll take care of it. And there's no way MSI is going to know about that list because <laughs> it's a custom action. So I could see the whole execute, include, exclude, whitelist kind of thing as a feature. Otherwise, if they want to go figure out why MSI is not handling service install, which it certainly seems like it should, then they can go take it um, with... Actually, is it not just service install? How about service control, right? That's the thing that stops it. 
maybe that's the problem. Anyway, true. They can go have that conversation with Wix users about you know trying to figure out that part. In the end, it's still going to be MSI that's giving us the list. All right. Matching. Yeah. Well, we can design the feature for 4.0 at some point. They have a perfectly working embedded UI, except it doesn't work in burn bundles. That's correct. Embedded UI does not work when we launch it in that, and it's something with the way that MSI sets the display mode. No, because burn is acting as an external UI. Uh -huh. It doesn't work. And it messes embedded UI up, and there's yeah. a long, long-term dis you know, discussion about this, and yes, it still doesn't work. So, yes, uh, don't do embedded UI. Rewrite your embedded UI as a bootstrap application for that to work. Or just keep shipping, shipping your MSI naked in embedded UI. That there's no, there's no intermediate ground given what Windows installer decided to do. Hey, look, another feature that MSI added late and doesn't work in all scenarios. Shock. Not enough real-world testing. So yes. This is a bug in the Windows installer. I know about this bug. I opened it. Um, yeah. Meh. <laughs> so I find if you don't want to take it 3.11, we should take it in 4. Um, if you don't want yeah, it in 3.11. So, so this bug, I was kind of... I saw it over the weekend, and I went, yeah? We talked about that. Oh, Rob opened it. Yeah, we talked about it, because um, we talked about it. Yes, we did, and it's a matter of going fixing more things, so well, that's we'll why I brought up, and I put it in 3.11 so we could have discussion of do we want it 3.11 or do we just push the 4? Well, I guess my point is we, it, it was an intentional decision, not a bug. Um, for the binaries? I know we do yeah. this for the MSI. Right. And we could also easily have done it for the binaries, but... We okay. said we didn't need to. It was okay that they were different. Yeah, I, I agreed. It, it, it's fine. It's inconsistent. I don't mind fixing it. I, I, I'm not I sure I bother with 3.11, but... Yeah, I mean, and that's why I put it in 3.11, just so we can have the conversation. We do it in 3.11. Yeah. I would do it in 4, just so we don't... Sure, sure. We are as uh, consistent I'm, I'm as fine. we can. Okay. I, I, I agree. I, I think it should be, and we didn't make the change, and everyone said, okay. So... Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Probably when we were doing those version number changes, we're like, oh, it's going to mess up more things. It's like, yeah, just like right. if we when if and when I argue that when we do this, then it's going to break everybody on four, so that the one upgrade to the next isn't going to work. Yeah. Itself, which is the same thing we had in three ten when we did. <laughs> exactly. It. Yep. Exactly. So uh, if four, I, so four would... becomes popular, we should probably think about doing these kinds of things. So how about we put it in four zero, so we do it before release? Yes, that. Okay. So and I'll leave it assigned to you. Oh, yeah, that's great. And so that means that the uh, MSIs will be the only thing that are weird, and that's because MSIs don't handle four dots in their version number. Right. And that's why the binaries didn't change right. either. And I think that will be, yes, yes, but I think it'll be more clear if everything is that, except MSI should be like, why didn't you do MSI? Because you can't. Oh. Versus, why didn't you do the XEs? Well, we didn't feel like it. Oh, okay. So, anyway. We're done. No more bugs left. That's it. This week. Um, 310. So while Bob finishes typing before he has to cover the next slide, I'll talk about 310.1. 310.1. The commits were all accepted last week. Thank you for getting those all in. All that good stuff. Um, Jacob, display internal UI for 4X. I'm plus one for killing display and turn you away. Oh, I sorry, I thought that was about that last bug. Oh uh, yeah, I need to open a thing that says that I probably we should probably do that. Anyway, back to three ten one. Uh Jacob got one of the one or two of the bugs in. Bob got one or two of the bugs in, I forget, maybe it was one each. Um did all that, got the build server sorted out, had huge problems with Visual Studio, which I'm not happy with. Um, but finally got the old build server able to build and then found that the outer curve signing server is down. It's not exactly correct. It turns out the outer curve signing certificate is out of date and they're struggling to get it updated. And without that, we can't sign our builds, so we can't do official builds, so we're st 
stuck right now while I wait for Outer Curve to sort out the issue. They are working their way through it. Hopefully they get it solved soon. As soon as they do, we will get the build posted um, and we will start the process. I, I, we still have a little bit of time. I hope they get it done in the next day or two so that we still have uh, two and a half-ish weeks to have people kick the tires on 310.1 and make sure it actually fixes the bugs the way we think they do, like for real, and all that good stuff. So that's kind of why 310.1 is. If you're wondering why wasn't there a 310.1 build over the weekend, um, there were many that all fail that I beat my head against the wall entirely too long, very frustrating time trying to make 310.1 get released. Um, so... Anyway, that's kind of status 3.10.1. It will come out, and we will let people know about it as soon as it pops out. We will have it up on the releases page, so if you track that or the feed, um, you'll see those come down. Um, and, yeah, hopefully you can get this out and done and available for people for Halloween. Candy. We have people typing that have been typing as I've been talking, so I expect they want to talk about this slide which will give Bob a little more time to finish up on the bugs before he has to spend all his time talking about the next slide. Cause I'm done. I'm, I'm not talking about the next slide yet. I must say, you are fast. All right, people are giving up typing. That or they're writing a book. I'm going to move on to the next slide. Holy cow, that is a book. Um, so Heath is asking about Wix 4 PRs, and I would love to work on the Wix 4 PRs if I wasn't fighting the build machine and everything else. Um, uh, going on for getting 3.10.1 out. So that's been sucking up way more time than it should have. Um, I just heard about Wintarn 90 day grace for EV cert for signing. Not sure of setup impact. 90 day grace for EV. Oh, extended verification. Mm -hmm. We need to have EV certs now, huh? Well, I don't know what we're going to have. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't really want to... Well, yeah, so... Anyway, the build will come out hopefully soon. Hopefully it will come out soon. Icebreakers! Bob, something completely different, something completely for. Let's talk about that. This is completely for, yeah. <laughs> so I set up uh, the Icebreaker project uh, a year ago and then didn't touch it for a year. So in celebration of its anniversary, I went back and and started to bring it up to date, get get you know new Wix binaries in there, and um, ran into some interesting things I wanted to run past people. Um, I could have just done this via email, but it was convenient for me to ask Rob to add it to the agenda. Um, one thing that I was kind of concerned about, and then realized that it was not anything unique to icebreakers is that the the switches, command line switches, um, can be extended by extensions, hence the name. Um, so you can add switches to, say, control uh, validation and running ICES. Um, but right now there's no model to extend the MS build tasks. So you have to kind of even if everything's going to be handled in an extension, your MS build task still has to know about all the base stuff and what's in the extension. Um, and I was kind of bummed about that until I realized that the same thing is true with binder extensions, including how Wix is built today. Um, so I'm, I'm still not thrilled because remember part of what we're doing here is we're moving ICEs out of Wix and into icebreakers and then Wix will take an icebreaker drop to have that functionality still. But in, in the code and everything, it's going to be gone. But we have to put it into the MS build tasks that ship with Wix, because otherwise there's no MS build support. Um, I don't like it, but I think it's still a good idea that we get the ICEs out of Wix. Um, the alternative is that we say, well, things like ICEs that require switches, we're going to leave in Wix but I would rather move them out. And I wanted to get some feedback on that. Um, part of moving stuff out of Wix means that 
there are some classes in Wix that are going to go away. Some might go away entirely. Others are just going to move. Um, for example, uh, there's validator extension, which is a class that's not an extension so much as a formatter for the ICE messages. Um, I'm proposing to get rid of that and move its functionality and the validator class itself out of Wix and into icebreakers. Um, we lose a little bit of extensibility there, but it's probably never been used. Um, but, there, but then there will be classes that just leave Wix. If it's related to ICEs, they're going to get out of Wix. Um, Heath, right now the inspector icebreaker, the icebreaker project, the icebreaker icebreaker extension uses the inspector class. It's an inspector extension, um, and so that is going to stay in Wix. But validator and validator goes away. Well, kind of goes away. It it becomes the ice runner. Validator extension goes away by becoming part of the ice runner. So base Wix no longer knows about running ices or how to run ices or, you know, how to um, make them. Um, what what does validator do that inspector can't? These are feature requests for the inspector interface. Was geared only at final op. Validator is geared only at ICE messages, right? That's all it does. Yeah, and an inspector can do that. Yes. An inspector can do everything from intermediates to outputs to packages. Right. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, and we called it. Inspector, because the word validator was already gone. <laughs> right, and that's it. So yeah, I, I, you know, the idea of getting rid of validator, the idea of pulling the inspector out, or the code that does all that out and put it in icebreaker, is all good by me. The end result is that we still need static analysis um, on in the Wix toolset that ships, so that people are still running ices. Um, hopefully, over time, they're running you know icebreaker ices instead of you know custom action ices. But that'll get better over time. Yeah, we're not going to call them mice. It's too confusing. Yeah, yeah. Um, we call them. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> it was confusing yeah. as it was said. It. Um, but yeah, the inspector, the inspector interface, the inspector extension interface, uh, you know, covers everything that a validator could do. Um, so it, yeah, validator becomes the ice runner, and the inspectors, um, the the icebreaker extension. Uh, will run database inspection. I might come up with a better word. Um, the the database inspection is for the new non-custom action ICEs. Uh, the ICE runner happens from inspect database because that's where we have you know, the path uh, and an external MSI, which is also how we make uh, a new version of Smoke. Right. That runs the just run well runs the ices and the new the new checks. Right. Right, right, right. So um, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh icebreakers are not dead. They're just you know, they were just resting after a prolonged squawk. And now they're mildly back and I'm gonna keep going. Uh, it's actually kinda fun because I get to remove stuff from Wix. Um uh, Hide them away. <laughs> Starting to yeah. the ID again. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Not going to respond to that. I left. Um, all right. Anything else here? Nope. That was it for me. Anybody else on this one before we go there? Uh, yeah. I mean, you can, in Wix 3, you can 
operate against the inspector already. This is about cleaning it all up and making it, well, and start abstracting away the stuff that ICE is due into a separate project so that we can start rewriting them. So how much of this code is ready to go, Bob? I assume like none of it right now. No, no, not at all. Okay. Um, it'll be, I'll have to do some, some uh, it will take a little bit of, of timing uh, collaboration to work out because I need to move stuff out of Wix and uh, throw it into icebreakers. Well, I mean, it's fine if Wix 4 has a few builds that don't have static validation because it's been ripped out before the new stuff comes in. But okay, that's oh, that that's going to happen for sure because the other well, thing that yeah. I didn't really touch on is you know we need to come up with a model for where we uh, actually take icebreaker drops into Wix so that we don't you know net we don't lose any functionality. Right. Yep, that's fine. There are plenty of options to choose from. All right, cool. It'll be nice. This is this is one of those things that's like, I don't know if it's going to be much fun to do it, but it'll be very nice to have it. Uh, kind of features. Yeah, so far it's been moderately fun, but yeah, that's about it. Right. Other things, stuff need to do going on. Uh, Wix 3.10.1 is turning out to be a much bigger distraction than hoped. Hopefully that'll be done soon. Um, it's funny. I'm now doing Wix 3.10, and Bob's off on 4 stuff. How weird hey. in the world is that? So, well, the good news is that the distraction is only logistical, not uh, code. Uh, yeah, although logistics have been very frustrating, too. Well, um, mostly for you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, anything else? Other things people got going on? If not, we'll call it a half-hour meeting, which is actually pretty good. We've been rolling these at about half-hour. Um, Fewer bugs, more discussion this time. That's all good. Uh, no, no. All right, cool. Well, then, everybody have a wonderful week. Hopefully, 310 comes out any, honestly, it could be any hour. As soon as they clear the server, I will push the button again, and it will pop out, and we'll have a build-out. So keep an eye on for that. But otherwise, uh, yeah, think about, I don't know, four. Until next week, you guys take it easy. Later. Bye.